Hey there, what's up everyone? My name is Terf Hiker, and welcome back to Minecraft my, on my Dragon Slayer quest. So, basically, in the previous episode I was talking about the movie Brightburn and how much I adored that movie and also about the, I kind of went a little too deep into the flaws there. I kind of, I, I, I felt like I couldn't just like say, well, what the, what I saw the flaw was and then just leave it at that. I felt like I had to go into a bit more detail so you guys understood. Um, which is something that I don't think I need to do, but anyways. And in this episode, we are not going to be talking about any movies. We are just going to be focusing on the game itself. I was just getting, I was just getting started, getting myself amped up here, and we're going to get going. And now I see a desert temple and a village. Good. So this will continue me on my quest. I, I when I spawned in the previous episode, I spawned in like the best possible location, like. I, I, I literally spawned like next to a tree, next to some pumpkins, underneath me was a cave with a ravine that had a mine shaft. I didn't go in the mine shaft though. There was also iron and coal right there. And I got like 18 of it. So now I am just, uh, and when I went down into the, and I also found another desert temple, and when I went down into the desert temple, I found an enchanted golden apple and a regular golden apple, so I'm just uh, collecting the stuff again. I know there's also TNT down there, but I, and I used to like to collect the TNT. I don't think I'm going to now. Don't really see the point of it. Whew, okay, got to get out of here now. Got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. So let's put something in my offhand. Grab these nine pieces of sandstone. Uh, sand. Hold on a second. Want to like collect all the other sand? Well, I don't need. I, I was going to make it into more sandstone. Why do I need to do that? Just make little stairs there. Give me that back. There we go. Hop up in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now I've raided that that uh, temple, and there's been no evidence that I have unless somebody breaks in and finds what I did. Okie dokie. So now let's uh, get some more hay bales here, and let's see what this village has to offer. Hopefully, it's got a blacksmith shop. Is that a blacksmith shop? I cannot tell. I don't think so. I saw like an overhang supported by posts, so I got kind of hopeful. Probably shouldn't have gotten hopeful. Because thinking about it now, I don't think that a blacksmith shop has those kinds of things. Yeah, it's just got a bed. Totally. Ah, chest! Good! A whole lot of this, and a whole lot of that. Okie dokie. Close the door, please. This has got nothing. Uh, are there any, any uh, houses over this hill? There are not. They're all down here. Oh, terracotta. I think that's uh, white glazed terracotta, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why there's terracotta here. I can see it getting nighttime now, so I had better, uh, what's in here? Crafting table. So I had better uh, find a, a good place to sleep. Is that a composter? That would be so good for, for me, me if I was settling down somewhere. But I'm not settling down. I'm not doing that yet. Not until I find a stronghold, and then I'm going to seek out the room I'm gonna then seek out the room that has the the portal the end portal I'm gonna set up camp there but these composters are useful if you like to have any kind of food if you have stuff like any kind of seeds any kind of saplings if you right click it puts them in and you can like fill it up and once it gets to the top then little uh, little white flex happen and when you right click all of it's gone and you get a bone meal and then you can use it on plants to spruce them up. It, it, it's really handy if you've got like a heck of a lot of excess seeds and saplings that you don't need. It's really useful. Seriously really useful. Okay, thank you, thank you. Is there anything in here? I don't think so. Yeah, there's a guy wanting to sleep I think. A lot of people wanting to sleep. Well, let's go like this then. Don't want to walk around, I don't want to travel during the night. Because that's dangerous, especially considering I have zero armor on right now. And back in the previous episode, I'd gone into a fight with a posse of skeletons that I met in a cave. Thought there was two of them. Killed one, and then the other one killed me. And when I respawned and went back to that cave, I saw, to my surprise, th there were now three or four of them. So I basically had, did, like, I tried to fight th them again. By, by fighting them straight on, and then by burying them in sand, and they ended up killing me a couple more times before the last one finally got dealt with. But yeah, so, um, now, hi there, friend. Oh, good. More 
cows. Take that. Okie dokie. Uh, there you are. Thank you. I want to get all the leather I can. It's not going to make suitable armor for going up against the Ender Dragon. They'd probably... They. The Ender Dragon actually has a gender. It's a she. Um, the, the Ender Dragon would probably... She'd probably just knock it all right off me with one blow. If it's leather armor. So this is so the leather is going to be like temporary armor. And once I eventually get enough iron to make myself armor, I need 24 by the way, and I have 18 right now. Then I will trash all of my leather armor and start using the iron. And I, so yeah, I need 24 leather. I have got 12. I've got I'm halfway achieved my goal. Come on. Stop running. Gotcha. Okay. As for you, there we go. Thank you. If I can hop up, please. I'm t my, my thumb is like tapping right on the very edge of the space bar, so sometimes it doesn't even register when I jump. I should put put my thumb like more in the middle. Problem with doing that though is that it is that the, my thumb is all splayed out now, so it's all weird. Take that. Take that. Thank you. Take that. Take that. I, t I hate all this tall grass getting in my way. It just lowers the efficiency of my sword even more, I think. I think it does. I, I, I don't know if it does or not. Now, there's one cow back here that I didn't catch. Where is he? There he is. Ha ha! You can't hide. Nope. No hiding behind the tree. The rest of your kind are dead, and you're next. Hiya! 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 Gotcha. Remember there was a mod before that allowed me to craft like cobblestone armor and stone armor and that and that was and that was like pretty fun because then you could like have that that kind of armor and it was about and it was about as as uh, strong as I think gold or chain armor it wasn't too spectacular but it was stronger than leather I know that for certain but also the problem with with it is that if you wore it then it also gave then it also like gave you like a slowness effect a permanent a permanent slowness effect it would slow you down i think because it's so heavy i mean like if you're able to wear armor made of diamond and be able to 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 to, to run around just fine then do then wear or something of gold even because gold is really freaking heavy it's heavier than stone then i don't get why stone would slow you down and gold wouldn't right okay so i'm in a mesa biome uh I kind of want to fish. I've, I, I can make myself a fishing rod. I'm going to actually do that right now. I think I'm going to use this uh, leather to also craft uh, my armor. Uh, most of it anyways. There we go. There we go. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on. There we go. Now I've got free space in my inventory for any fish I catch. I don't really think I should have this uh, oak sapling with me too. So I'm just going to toss that. Alright, let's do this. What do I get? Ah, here comes something. Here comes something. A puffer fish? Are you kidding me? It's only it's only useful uses for brewing. Screw that. This is good for making potions of water breathing. You can also eat them, but do not eat them because I tried that once. It literally it literally only healed up like half of a hunger point, one half of a hunger point, and then. It's, it also gave me like the hunger status effect a poison status effect and a nausea status effect nausea made my vision go all swimmy my the 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 hunger made my my hunger deplete faster or it would anyways and the poison literally started almost killing me it literally knocked me down to half a health and i think it would have actually killed me if i was in hardcore mode or something but uh yeah basically it, those effects lasted for 13 seconds so, ne moral of the story, never eat a pufferfish. Only use them for brewing. That's all they're ever going to be good for. Okay, so give me something aside from a pufferfish. Give me something that I can actually eat. The problem with fishing is that uh, sometimes it I get tropical fish. Really, you can't tell that it's a clownfish. Yeah, this is another fish that only heals up like half of a hunger point and you can't even cook it. Forget it. Sorry, Nemo. I guess Marlin's going to have to look around a lot more. The problem with fishing, though, is that you gotta, in Minecraft specifically, is that you gotta wait quite a bit. And I know that in fishing in real life, you gotta do it too. Like in Minecraft, once you put the fishing rod in the water, it, there's a scripted amount of time until a fish comes. In real life, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. 
And and in the previous Minecraft, like back in the day, in one, version 1. 1.8 point something, which I think was the version of Minecraft that I first started playing, um, it, there used to not be like Splash the Water. You used to have to just watch that little hook bobbing in the water. You have to just watch it, and the moment it goes down, you instantly have to right-click to pull it in. But in this case, in this Minecraft thing, it gives warning signs. It gives, like, splashes of water. It tends to give, like, splashes of water, like, everywhere, like, do -do 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 -do, before a fish will come. And then also shows, like, little little water particles when a fish is coming. So it gives a little warning sign, and that's good. I just got a lily pad. Okay, thanks, I think. I didn't know you could get those from fishing. I thought you could only get those from uh, from swamps. That would mean that the lily pad was under the water here in this mesa biome. What's it doing in this mesa biome? Another freaking puffer fish! Frick off! I don't want you! Same goes for you, lily pad. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Got my crafting table right here. Uh, I'm gonna put my my bed like like right there. I'm gonna put my furnace right there. Just gonna set up camp. Think. No need to put my blast furnace down because there's no ores that I'm going to be smelting. I am going to. I am thinking about uh, converting this uh, furnace of mine into a smoker so that I could cook up this uh, food faster. But I. But then if I do that, then I'm going. To, then if I want to cook up anything else, I'm going to need to take a. I'm going to need to take a lot and make another furnace, and that's going to be in another spot in my inventory that's filled up. Won't be too happy about that. Another freaking puffer fish freak off. Okay, yeah, it's getting nighttime, so let's hop into bed. Let's say my good nights. The reason that it says good night a few times before was because that I was literally continuing from where the last episode what left off on. It actually should have showed the other advancements before, but I had, but because I that, in that incident back in the desert village where I had placed my bed and then like nothing showed up, I had to I had to log out of the game and then go back into it. A bull. Oh, thank you. I guess if I ever find any beetroots or mushrooms, I guess I could just make something. I know you can also make stuff like rabbit stew, but I know how to do that. I do also know that there are that there are channels like uh, PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye who who have like you know gotten into playing Minecraft. Um, and then I see that on Market Player's channel, there's like 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 a video where he says like I'm trying not to play Minecraft. Like, I didn't actually watch that video, but. I, but it did kind of raise a question to me, like, what is, like, what exactly does he have against Minecraft? It's a beautifully wonderful game. It's, it, both in concept and in its style, and to what you can do in it. There's so, it's, there's literally infinite possibilities. It's one of the most popular games in the entire world, if not the most popular. And I think that it actually, uh, I think that it and, that Minecraft and Fortnite were, oops, frick. Hold on a second. I think that Minecraft and Fortnite were actually neck and neck with each other. Like Fortnite surged ahead for a while, and then Minecraft recently surged back up again. And not, and I, I, I do know that that um, he had previously, um, like a long time ago, he had made a, a series of uh, drunk Minecraft videos with uh, with a uh, Wade and Bob, two of his friends, and. I, and I feel like that that maybe it had something to do with that. Maybe that's the reason why he's not playing it, or maybe he's just you know, being stubborn or something. I'm not sure. I'm I'm real. I'm really not sure. I I figure I should probably watch that video that that where it says like I I'm trying not to play Minecraft or whatever it's called. I figure I should probably watch that video that it'll tell me why he doesn't want to play it. But but uh, since I haven't watched it, I really am not sure why he doesn't want to play Minecraft. It's, it's personally my one of my favorite games. It is actually my number one favorite. I've got other, I've got like plenty of games which are, which all come in second place, but this one is number one and it has been like that for years. Ever since I started playing it back in, uh, I didn't actually play it in the year that it came out, which was two thousand and nine, and it's twenty nineteen right now. So it's actually like a decade old. It's pretty cool. But um, but I but I did uh, but. But um, I did play it like when it was in 1.8 version. I think I can't remember when that came out. It's I've I've been playing it for years basically. There right? there's been times when I've lost interest in it and then eventually gained interest in it again. But uh, but uh, yeah, it's it, it it's like officially like it's so far now like it's like from now on it, from from then on it it's officially become like one of my favorite games. And recently when it became super popular again. 
it became my number one favorite and it is there to stay okay you know what i've got to start cooking up this stuff so there we go i still haven't gotten enough uh enough uh salmon to to, to uh like cook up with a piece of coal because coal because coal could cook up eight items i got like 11 of those of those uh, raw cod they changed raw fish to be raw cod instead and I was originally planning on once I get eight cod, I was going to cook it up, but I kind of got lost in my conversation. I ended up getting 11 instead. There we go. More salmon. That's exactly what I want to see. Oh, great. I got another raw cod. Well, I'll just add that to the listings. Hey, nice. Let's uh get my advancement. I thought there was an advancement for, uh, for, for cooking a fish. I thought there was an advancement for cooking a fish. Oh, no, wait. There's an advancement for catching a fish. Fishy business. It's not an advancement for cooking a fish. Never mind. In reality, I've actually been recording this video for a little over 20 minutes, but I know that by the end of this video, by the time I've edited everything and all the points where I've been talking, I edited that, those parts out. I figure that this video won't be as long as that. So I'm so because I'm fishing a lot here, I'm probably going to get really confused by like the I'll see that I'm that oh boy I've been recording for 40 minutes I guess I should stop recording now but but in reality with all the cutting that I'm going to do it's probably going to equate to being a lot less than that two three four actually no one no I'm not going to take four oak planks I'm going to catch two more rock cod throw in another piece of coal and uh, then I'm going to I'm going to hope that I'm going to get some more salmon hopefully I'll stop fishing once I got two more rock cod that 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 that'll, that'll be the plan so come on, fishy, 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 fishy. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Hey, hey, get back here. Get back here. Thank you. Okay, did you guys see that? Like, the fish started out, like, over here, and then he phased into here and then came out through there. That This fish literally... This raw cod is literally d d defying the laws of physics. That, that That is cool. And he didn't even come straight to me, either. He defied the, the laws of... of, of uh, of me pulling him towards him, and he didn't. He just did a little hop and fell back in the water. <laughs> uh, thank you. Hey, look at that. Exactly two raw cod. Now I can officially stop fishing. There we go. I do know that sometimes in, in uh, water, specifically in lakes, not in ponds like this, but in lakes, there's, uh, I think it's actually rivers, not lakes, that um, you can actually find find uh, some salmon the just uh, swimming around in there you can actually kill them just with a swipe of your sword and and then once you kill them they give you one point of experience points and then they also drop a raw salmon so if you so if you ever want to get fish uh, quickly salmon in particular then instead of just throwing a fishing rod in the water and waiting until you eventually get enough that you want you could just find some of those swimming around and then cut them apart with your sword it's a bit more crude i know but uh you know whatever Okay, so let's, um, okay, I'm actually wanting to make a smoker now. There's a whole bunch of trees over there, so I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to, like, cross this, these, uh, this hill to get to them. Oh, it's got a precipice. I'll have to go all the way down and then all the way up here to get some wood, go all the way down, all the way back. I know that I, oh, and there's even an abandoned mine shaft, so I'll have something to explore. I know that I had said that I would, that, that I, that I've got, like, uh, that I need just, like, four oak logs of any kind, and I technically do have four oak logs of any kind, but I want to preserve all of my jungle logs, so that would mean I only have three. Three logs. And those are of spruce. Wasn't sure if it was dark oak or not. But I'm just going to get some regular oak. If this guy's sitting here by, by the edge. He looks lonely. I'll, I'll take him with me. Mm, the sun's going down again. Think, think, think. I'll, uh, I'll rest in my bed, and then in the morning, then I'll, uh, so I'll head out. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to make myself another furnace. This time I'm gonna go log, 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 log. Make myself a smoker. I'm gonna do some smoking. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I've got all the the, the fish in here. In this smoker, time to cook up this. So let's, uh. I'll be able to cook up two of them with that and that. See how much faster it cooks up? You can see how fast the other stuff cooks up. This cooks up much faster because it's a smoker cooking up food. So yeah, now I'm going to say my goodnight. Having a cooking smoker going directly beside me. That's, um, 
disconcerting. Thank you very much. Now there's only two uh, oakwood planks, any kind of planks really. I'll actually put one of those and then I'll also throw the chest in there too so it frees up an inventory space. Uh, okay, so I gotta start getting ready to pack up and uh, head in that direction. I've got all these potatoes. I don't know if I should cook them. I don't, I'm not, I don't, I kind of don't want to because I'd kind of like to to keep them as raw so that I can uh, farm them eventually. One second, there we go. Okay. I like to have my inventory all nice and orderly. Pickaxe to, to shovel, to hoe, to axe, to sword, to uh, bow, to flint and steel, to fishing rod, to shears. Because that'll fill up everything, and if I don't have all those things, which I usually don't, then ouch. Then I have um, crafting table to furnace, to red to to a red bed specifically red, to a birch boat. I like birch boats, and I have my friend Jay to thank me for that, since he didn't, since in a world a Minecraft world of his he had given me a birch boat, and he named it Georgie's boat. He knows how much of a, how how big of a fan I am of it. The movie and uh so so that means so that officially made me like birch boats better than any other boats i can hear them walking around there it's not good okay i'm gonna make a little station there hey there okay so let's use these two sticks i've got and some iron to make myself a pickaxe like this okay i don't know why everything is being so jiggy here and it's so dark as well i need some sticks let's uh Make myself some torches. Okay, I'll light this place up. I think I might even just leave the torches in, in, in this in this abandoned mine shaft because I don't want to have to keep on breaking them and placing them and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, we got some over here. Uh, can't remember where this leads. The dead end. Yes, it is. I think I hear a cat yowling. I want to kind of want to go check it out, but I'm in the middle of recording something. Don't know if the cat's in distress or not. I probably ought to check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was a cat that we've got. Not it's not really our cat, it's a different cat that we're fostering. It's it's a long story. Uh but but yeah, basically that cat was kinda yowling, so I just went went over to where she was and then kinda chatted with her a bit to help uh to help uh soothe her if she was distressed. I'm not sure if she was just, just distressed or anything, but yeah. Okay, so I got the Stuck in the cobweb is what I got. I was gonna say that I got the gold over there, so I don't need that torch there anymore. Is there any gold over here? Nope, it's a dead end. So that means I could start backtracking now. Uh, yeah, a whole lot of gold over here. I don't think gold is too useful. It's it, 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 in terms of of tools like pickaxes, axes, uh, shovels, etc. The, the the tools that it makes uh, uh, work like with the fastest efficiency that any other tools do but they also like break down the easiest which is a dang shame but you know it is what it is okay so i'm gonna need to use this to get myself some charcoal if i break some of these i bet i'm gonna break right into your passageway the legs of a creeper i can't let that creeper make eye contact with me or he is going to explode Okay, I kind of want to break this and then go up and into there, but they're going to be all over me once I do that, so I'm not going to just yet. Oh, I literally just realized the, the purpose that this gold could have. I have apples with me. I can make more golden apples with them. I just realized that. I'm so smart. Uh, there's no way to actually create enchanted golden apples. You used, you used to be able to, to not take uh, eight gold ingot, but to take eight gold blocks blocks of gold like a like a block takes nine and got to make you used to be able to take eight of these and surround an apple and it would make an enchanted golden apple but that's not how it works anymore and you can only craft normal go normal golden apples so thank you uh there we go i'm gonna just get some more some more gold so i can if i get any apples i'm gonna craft them into golden apples and we're gonna go out and fight you Oh damn, oh damn. Damn it. I'm 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 surprised that that didn't hurt me at all. I didn't even know the creeper was there. So it kind of gave me a fright. Going to be the bigger man here and admit that I freaked out. Sorry. Uh is there any more gold around here? No, but there's the exit right there. Is that diamonds? No, that is gold. No, it is gold. 
It is gold. Okay, I don't need a friggin' bone. Thank you. Thank you. I hear her yowling again. I just want to see her. Does, does she want me to spend more time with her? I, it's, it's really hard to tell. I think maybe because I, if, if I think maybe it could be because if I'm talking too loudly, if I'm talking too loudly, it kind of like upsets her. I just do that to try to make sure you guys can hear me better or to help me be more expressive since I, whenever I watch back now in videos, it doesn't seem like I'm that expressive. But yeah, I'll just uh, speak a little more calmly. I'll go into ASMR mode and I'll speak more calmly into the mic and closer to the mic. Actually, I'll pull out Concentration Roman, because that's exactly what his voice is like. He's nice and calm. He doesn't worry about anything. Creeper there, did he blow up my gold? He didn't. That's wonderful. Now I can get that gold anyways. There we go. That's only one piece, but that's okay. This is certainly a lot of stuff. Let's see what's in there. I'm gonna use this oak log to go like that. I, those are pumpkin seeds. I've already got pumpkins. Don't need them. No rails. No detector rails. No beetroot seeds. Possibly be root seeds. I'll get rid of that. A minecart. And that's that. And I hear an Enderman. That's not a good sign. And I can go to sleep. Good night. Alright, I'm awake now. Now let's go back to my little station. Right here. Now how did this fare in cooking things up? Fared well. 16, so two will be able to cook up all of these, and then four oak planks will be able to cook up all of those. I'm actually just going to check OBS Studio right now, just to make sure that my voice is picking up really loudly on the mic. I can tell by the little bars, like, going up, or in this case, going to the side. And it looks like my voice is being picked up, so excellent. Okie dokie. I might have to do all my future videos in ASMR while we still have her. Still have the cat, Athena. That's her name. I also know that I have two diamonds, but I'm not going to make a sword because I want to have one more diamond so I can make a big X out of it. Would you look at that? There's another piece of gold. Well, excellent. Now there are seven pieces. One, two, three, four, and there. See? Now it's all getting cooked up. I'm not too sure whether this is back the way I came or whether it's the way I'm going, but I believe it is the way I'm going because that looks familiar. So now we are going to head over this hill. And it sounds like people are home, so I'm going to end this episode off here. I'll continue this in the next one. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video. Let me know what you down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.